Welcome to Whitstable. We are here for a big summer day out by the sea and for the first time we are in full 4K. So, so let's, let's start, start the show. Well, Whitstable is known for its seafood. And of course, when I see food, I want to eat it, don't I, Paul? And we're both really hungry because we've just yeah, we arrived are. at lunchtime. Fortunately, there are lots of places to eat down by the harbour. So hopefully we will find some very fresh fish today. It looks like the fish market isn't open yet, so I think that they kind of sell the fresh seafood that they catch in the sea. I would think that it's open really early in the morning after they get the catch of the like day. Around five, six o'clock in the yeah, morning. Yeah, whereas at around one o'clock in the afternoon, well, all the fish has been sold yeah. by now. Oh look, this place only sells West Wilkes. No fish and chips on these tables, so they're private. And it also seems like they specialize in the rock oysters as well. Okay, it looks like this place is quite popular because look at the queue. Wow. On these drums, we've got some pictures which look at the history of fishing back in Whitstable in days gone by. Look at this. And there's one of the modern day trawlers. Well, I'll say modern day, but I mean, it's a trawler that is heading out in modern times. We always mention the RNLI when we see one of their lifeboat stations or shops. Do you remember the one in Donacha D? Mm -hmm. Or Port Divine, as it's known to some people. Yeah. 200 years. That's how old this lifeboat station is. No, I think the RNLI is celebrating 200 years. Oh, right. I think that that's what they're commemorating. Well, I would say that one of the first ones was possibly here as well. Yeah. Possibly. Oh, look at this pole. Pebble Beach. Is it Pebble? Oh, I didn't... Well, it's uh, semi. It's, yeah. We're on a beach now, as you can see. I didn't even know that there was an actual beach here. No. Um, no. It's it's not quite sand. It's not quite pebble. I suppose it's, it's a combination. I, I wouldn't even say it's shingle. I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe this is what you call shingle. What do you think in the comments? Lots of seaweed. I don't want to go too far. We've got some little stones down there, possibly some shells as well. So in case you don't really know where we are, we are on the Kent coast in the south of England here in Whitstable. I always love the sound and the smell of the sea. It's so soothing. And for an insomniac like me, hopefully this will help me get to sleep tonight. What do you think, Paul? Are you going to go in for a dip today? No, afraid not. No, I do love the sea and it smells of 
fresh seaweed that is wafting from the water right behind me. I love the seaside, but we're not close enough to it. But we are today. So people are preparing their yachts to take out to sea. I don't think, I don't think these are yachts. Are you sure they're not? Because we are standing at the Whitstable Yacht Club right behind us. Must be true then. Quite long queues, I think, no matter where you're going to go today along the uh, harbour front. Well, it's lovely to look at the boats, of course, but one of the things you really don't want to see, and you do see a lot of this in specifically English seaside resorts, is men with their shirts off. Please keep them on, unless you are athletic looking. Then you can take them off, that's fine. Looks like these are the eaten oysters. Oh wow, Shots. look at that. Yeah. You've got your umbrella up, Paul. Yep, yes. Yep, yep. Well, one of the curses of the great British summer is of course yes. the rain. And the other one is that there are so few places to eat along the front that they're all full. So we've had to come into the town centre. Yeah. We haven't had our lunch yet, but there is a fish and chip bar over there. So I'm sure that we will still be able to have a taste of the sea in the town centre. Yeah. We've just eaten at around the clock and I have to say that it really did hit the spot and it was just about time as well because you were going to faint, Paul, I thought I was going to faint. Uh, yeah. So you had the fish and chips. How it was, was that? lovely, lovely, lovely. It was nice, really nice and thin, crispy batter mm. and the chips were divine. Yes, they were the skin on skinny chips and those are my favourites I have to say. I had the scampi because I had uh, fish when I was at work mm. yesterday, so I didn't want fish two days in yeah. a row. And I know it, it, scampi really is fish, um, but it really was delicious. <laughs> Are you tired of watching the same old things on YouTube or your TV? Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? It's Paul and Marcus. go away anywhere I always have to buy the local newspaper well I must buy it because I do support the local press and I've got the Kentish Gazette so I shall enjoy reading that on the way home on the train today what are these flumps <laughs> aren't they like pillows all right we've got mr. man and the little missus oh did you know that there are new ones that were created this year there's a new no. mr. man and a new Little Miss, now I can't remember off the top of my head the new ones. Maybe you oh, could right. let us know in the comments, but I can see your one is there. What? What, Grumpy? No, 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 well, Little Miss Naughty, I was thinking. 
Oh, and there's me, Little Miss Sunshine. <laughs> oh, well, this really means that you're at the seaside, doesn't it, Paul? Because of the seaside chair. Yeah, you've got the deck chair, you've got a flying ring, you've got pickleball. The bucket and spade. spade. Yeah. And the little lunch bag. The lunch bag. And look, what's it? A little mini barbecue. It almost looks like a toy. Well, I think it is actually real. Oh. And if you wanted to go fishing, look, there are nets that you could buy just there. Oh, Paul, I actually saw a guy with crabs a minute ago. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he was holding them, but he's still there. He's outside Iceland. See that guy with the bucket? Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, right. he has live crabs in that bucket in there. Place. And speaking of crabs, look, back to the shop, there's one down there. And it says fresh Whitstable oysters. So you could actually use that bucket to go around collecting oysters here. Should we go into this little wee shop? Yes. Oh, look, it's called Get Naked. Actually, it's called George's Whitstable. Try on another one, please. Hats off to all of you, this Paul. Well, the thing is with the hat, my head is so small. Try the yellow I can one. Never find one that Try the yellow one. It's only in recent years I've been able to wear a cap. Look at this. <laughs> well, that would certainly keep the sun away from my heat. What do you got there? This is a really handy guide. I think I will need to take this when I'm out in a bar. Well, you can't have a day out at the seaside and not get an ice cream, so here you go. Paul, there's your whippy. You got it? Yeah. Don't let it fall, my dear. And we it is to... quite warm, it's quite humid, so it might melt, so I think we have to eat it. Mmm. It is rather nice. Does it pass the Morelli's test? That is the big question. Mm-hmm. Almost. Almost? Mm. It's slightly sweeter than a Morelli's. Oh. But it is creamy ice cream, mm. not icy ice cream. So that is a plus point. Yes, it's very true. Gosh, look at this, it's called Foreman's Alley and it's very tight. There's been lots of Morris people in town today and it looks as though they're about to put on a little bit of a concert. Look, Paul's there already.
А сам приколочек, когда он приедет. We have returned to the harbour front because there is a market here. So let's take a look around.
Well, we have left the little market behind and we're now heading back into the town centre because there's one last place that I want to show you. Look what we spotted. This wasn't the last thing that I was going to show you, but on our way to where we were going, we have just discovered Morelli's. Now, oh I wonder, are they related to the Morelli's of Port Stewart? It does actually say London outside it, so they are related to the Morellis of Port Stewart. In fact, they will be part of the cousins because when we went to Covent Garden one time, you will remember that we found a Morellis and we asked them, are you related to uh, Port Stewart? And they said, yes, we're cousins. So it says Broadstairs, Whitstable and London. And here we are, Paul. On a really hot day like this, I really do need to go to the pub, but this isn't any old pub, it's a weather suit. But it's not any old weather spoon, it is the Peter Cushing. Now, do you know who Peter Cushing was? No idea. Well, he was an actor back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, famous for the Hammer House horror movies, oh, wow. and Dracula in particular. And of course, this is the old cinema in Whitstable, and they've named it after Peter Cushing because he spent some of his latter years um, living in the town. Oh. So I think it's only right that we should pay a visit. We've got a plaque here saying the Peter Cushing. These licensed premises are named after the critically acclaimed actor who lived in Whitstable. This building is the former Oxford Cinema, which first opened its doors on the 27th of July 1936. It was built around the Oxford Picture Hall, which itself opened in 1912 in what had been the Oxford Concert and Music Hall. These premises were refurbished by J.D. Witherspoon in July 2011. Well, that is it wow. from Whitstable. Wow. And indeed, it is the end of our summer series. Already? But, yes, already, but fear not, because in our next episode, you will find us in France, of all places. And the heat really did hit oh, us geez. over there. So thanks for watching today. So before we go, for those of you that have liked this episode, give us a thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, you could do so as well. And if you would like to buy us a coffee to help us along the way, there is a link in the description. So until next time, and France, it's bye yeah. for now. Bye. bye.